Okay, so we're being asked to sketch the graph of the following ellipse. So in an ellipse, A is always bigger than B. And to find A, you just take the square root of the bigger number. So 9 is bigger than 4, so A is the square root of 9, that's 3. And then B is the square root of the other number, which is the square root of 4, which is 2. All right, so A is bigger than B. And why does that matter? Well, if the A squared term is under your X term, your major axis is horizontal. So if the bigger number is under your x squared term, the major axis is horizontal. If the bigger number is under your y squared term, the major axis is vertical. So in this case, a is 3, and it's under the x squared term. So the major axis is horizontal. All right, now we can graph it. So there's the y axis, there's the x axis. The center here is 0, 0. Uh, there's no number here, so we start in the middle. All right, the major axis is horizontal, so we go left and right by 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And then we go up and down by 2. 1, 2, 1, 2. Put a dot here, put a dot here, put a dot here, put a dot here. And then attempt to draw what looks like an ellipse. And that is a thing of beauty. That's how you graph an ellipse with the major axis being horizontal. If it was backwards, if the 9 was here instead, then you would go up and down by 3 instead of left and right.